Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And on October 19th, Verizon is going to release their quarterly earnings for quarter three. And we have some estimates. Now last quarter, Verizon did about 389,000. So all the analysts, they were like, whoa, Verizon's growing again. But the quarter prior to that, they lost 289,000. So they really only gained about, I wanna say around between 60 to 70,000 phone net ads this quarter they're looking at doing analysts expect them to do about a hundred and eighty five thousand postpaid phone net ads in a very very competitive wireless industry now that is gonna make Verizon look really good in my opinion still being able to add a hundred and eighty five thousand now T-Mobile has gotten rid of some perks of the uncarrier such as getting rid of the unlimited mobile without borders and adding a five gigabit high speed limit on it now for some people that may not be bad you may not travel uh, out of country that much or you know Mexico or Canada but some people especially here where I'm located they hopped on this plan for that specific reason to use it in Mexico and yes some of them may been abusing the unlimited let you know get it here and use it in mexico as a regular phone carrier that could have been it but a couple of other people hinted to me and pointed out to me that this may be because of the merger so if you uh, if you include t-mobile and sprint all the people and you add them all on t-mobile and you include that plan that, that will put a strain on the networks in Mexico and Canada. So that's something that somebody else pointed out to me. So that could be the reason that T-Mobile adjusted, <clears throat> adjusted that. But as you can see, another thing too that I want to point out is that grandfathered plans really don't mean too much anymore. They can be adjusted. They can be changed. And this is another perfect example. Verizon dropping all their customers down to 720p even on the most expensive plan. That's another example so grandfather really doesn't mean any much nowadays if you ask me so if sprint and t-mobile do end up merging which yesterday they have been articles that have said that softbank on their end has given the go-ahead now we're just waiting for official word from t-mobile um we may see some changes even on your grandfather plan i think if i check correctly i was looking at some of the advertising for sprint they did adjust their five lines to 90 to five lines to a hundred it's twenty dollars per line um, that's what i've seen yesterday i don't know how accurate that is i will have to look into it more but they increased that by ten dollars so so definitely let me know in the comment section down below if you think verizon is going to do that hundred and eighty five thousand they may even do more who knows you know a lot of people have started switching from t-mobile from what i've seen a lot of people on Reddit are, you know, saying congestion, band 12, not ended up being what it was made out to be. I've seen a lot of that. And a lot of that is because T-Mobile, they didn't necessarily fake it, but they didn't 100% fully do it the right way. So Verizon has two panels per sector with band 13, even here. And I'll show you guys a picture here in the, in the future. T-Mobile only added one antenna per sector or they only have it pointing in one direction but don't have band 12 going in the other direction. So that's how T-Mobile did it the cheaper way but was still able to claim low band. So we're hoping with band 71 that they can finally add a sector on all of the, you know, the whole 360. So everything is going to be very interesting and it's going to happen very fast. So we're in Q3 now, Q4 is probably uh, spending is going to ramp. And then 2018, towards the second half, there was an article the other day. And this was something that I was guesstimating as well. Is We're going to see the in the second half of 2018, we're going to see the highest spending levels as far as capital investment from the carriers that we've ever seen. So... We're going to start seeing a lot of work happen. So definitely stay tuned to the channel. I have some more content that I put together for you guys. So that's coming. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, you know, give me your thoughts in the comment section down below. 
I think Verizon can hit those numbers that the analysts are expecting them to do, but I still think T-Mobile will do better and Sprint will do okay as well. So definitely stay tuned to the channel, like, share, and subscribe. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.